Here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering the critical care scenario, kindly tell me, how would you manage this patient now? Uh, Ma'am, I would uh, start the management by uh, uh, ABC protocol. Yes. And uh, and uh, first of all, I will check for her airway, if she's breathing and yes. uh, airway is intact. Uh, uh, and then I will move for breathing, for a look, listen and feel of breathing. And then I would put to a white board uh, IV cannula and start warm IV uh, fluid uh, injection because she's uh, clearly hypothermic. I would give her warm IV fluids. And uh, then uh, uh, I would also ch uh, check for any disability and uh, uh, pr right. pr proceed. Can you uh, please tell me what is the normal core body temperature? Uh, Ma'am, the normal... Uh, core body temperature is uh, about uh, 37 degrees centigrade or 98.6 Fahrenheit. How do you uh, think one should measure body temperature? Um, and there are multiple uh, ways to measure the body temperature. It can be measured through uh, orally, uh, yes. rectally, and uh, auxiliary, and uh, also through uh, uh, um, tympanic membrane. Uh, tympanic membrane. Okay, yes, can you tell me what are the normal causes of hypothermia or what has caused hypothermia in this particular patient? Um, Ma'am, there are uh, many ways from which heat can uh, leave the body. Yes. For instance, it can uh, uh, leave through radiation, uh, evaporation, uh, conduction and convection. Yes. Uh, uh, so these the are causes, the, uh, if you can tell me the causes. Etiology, uh, like in case uh, of hypervolumic shock, due, in case of massive blood transfusion due to cold yes. environment. These are the causes, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, also due to a major big surgery. Uh, yes, during surgery, yes, right? Okay. Yes, if you yes, can sir. please tell me, uh, right? If you can please tell me, if you don't manage this patient with hypothermia adequately on time, what are the complications? Yes, that you should expect to occur or to happen. Yes, ma'am. Hypothermia can affect uh, uh, various organs in the body. For instance, uh, it can cause uh, affect cardiovascular system, leading to decreased cardiac output. Yes. And it can affect the respiratory system, uh, leading to decreased cardiac output and arrhythmias. Yes, and then and, and, and arrhythmias. And yes. uh, it can affect the res respiratory uh, system by, uh, by affecting the uh, ventilation uh, VQ mismatch. Yes. And uh, in in increasing the uh, pulmonary vascular uh, capillary resistance. Yes. It can cause uh, a decreased blood supply to the kidneys and also uh, reduce cerebral blood flow. And it can also lead to impaired coagulation. Uh, and uh, uh, these are the effects it can All right. Uh, According cause. to the NICE guidelines, can you tell me how to reduce the risk for hypothermia? Yes, ma'am. Uh, according to uh, NICE guidelines, uh, uh, perioperatively, uh, uh, the patient before coming to the operation theater, he should be he get his temperature checked. And if his temperature is uh, below... 36 uh, degree, uh, uh, then he should be starting active uh, warming in the ward. Before coming to the theater, he should be given active uh, warm IV fluids and uh, he should be uh, kept in warm blankets 
and then coming uh, towards this uh, pressure theater his temperature should again be checked and if it, he is hypothermic preoperatively then he should be uh, started active warming all right this patient uh, apart from low body temperature low body core temperature also presents with lactic acidosis how would you plan to correct that or take care of that uh, ma'am um... Uh, I would give her uh, potassium, uh, potassium is 8.5 and base deficit is 10.5 and she has lactic acidosis. How would you take care of patients' ABC? Ma'am, um, for lactic acidosis, uh, uh, lactic acid, I would uh, correct her fluid deficiency. I know, uh, I'm asking you. All right, at the same time, uh, yes. How would you plan to Give, take care of the nutrition of this patient. She is 87 years old with low body temperature. How would you make sure that she gets adequate nutritional supply? Madam, my first preference uh, would be to feed her entirely uh, by passing an NG tube. All right. And, uh, and? Uh, if, if, if she is uh, unable to tolerate an uh, NG uh, feed, then uh, I would uh, give uh, nutrition to her parently. What should be the normal potassium level or electrolyte Ma levels be, in a body? The potassium level should be 3.5 to 5. This one is 8.5. How would you take care of that? So so first of all, I would like to uh, uh, depotash her with the calcium carbonate to protect her cardiac uh, system. Uh, and and uh, I would give her calcium ways, carbonate. Yes. Uh, other ways I can also give her uh, uh, insulin uh, with the uh, in uh, uh, in any uh, in fluids insulin with fluids and uh, also uh, she can be given a bronchodilator such as uh, salbutamol. Uh, all these measures can help correct her potassium level. Okay, right. This you'll tell me later on in detail or in proper order. Okay, oh. can you please also tell me how would this hypothermia affect renal system? Uh, Ma'am, uh, re reduce uh, uh, blood flow towards the uh, kidney, which leads to uh, uh, cold diuresis. Okay. And uh, there will be and decrease uh, uh, glomerular filtration rate. Yes, and? And uh, due to reduced renal blood flow. Yes. And this is how it's affecting or it, is it has become or it is uh, accumulating. Uh, affecting her blood pressure? Maybe. Uh, potassium levels as well. And okay, blood... potassium levels. Yes. yes. Sorry. Okay. Can you tell me uh, during surgery and post-operatively, how would you make sure that patient's blood, uh, patient's core body temperature is maintained? Ma'am, uh, during surgery and, uh, and during surgery, uh, yes. Um, during surgery, I would uh, prefer to uh, give her uh, warm IV fluids and keep her in a uh, um, keep her uh, body surfaces covered with blanket. Yes. And, uh, uh, but not you're operating; you cannot cover the patient. Uh, you, I, yes. Mainly through warm uh, IV fluids. Yes. Yes, that is the most important one. Okay, right. Uh, tell me, all right, you told me the complications and you told me, okay, how would you take care of uh, the maintenance fluid? How much you will give initially and then how will you calculate that how much should be given in 24 hours to the patient? Ma'am, uh, I would calculate it by the formula of uh, uh, 25 to 30 milliliter per kg. Yes. And uh, uh, this was discussed yesterday as well. Okay. According to your observation, this patient is suffering from what type of shock? Um, um, yeah, I put, uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm not sure about this one. All right. Can you define the term shock? Um, uh, shock is inadequate uh, oxygenation and blood transfusion. Okay. So, Time has gone, bell has, uh, has happened, but uh, I just, for the sake of discussion, can you, uh, by just reading at the question, guess or have an idea what type of uh, shock is patient going through? What are the different um, types of shocks? 
hypovolemic shock cardiogenic yes. shock yes uh, neurogenic shock yes. septic shock yes um, what is obstructive shock uh, obstructive shock it? is uh, due to uh, decrease uh, uh, cardiac output of the patient yes and what is the mechanism of uh, action how it happens all right um, there were certain sorry, terms that you were memory. telling me uh, about uh, can you define the term conduction ma'am uh, sorry um, i i don't conviction. remember right evaporation yes, ma'am, uh, yes. i know conduction conviction is the uh, uh, is the transfer of heat from uh, one place to another due to movement of fluid or uh, any other thing like gases okay evaporation these were the terms that you used so uh, ma'am evaporation is the uh, normal loss of heat through uh, exposed air or yes Expos through, exposed yes exposed because it's all we are dealing with the surgery so we have to talk about what is radiation 50% um, body temperature is lost through radiation how it happens it Um, what is the mechanism uh, it is because uh, it is uh, because the blood vessels in the skin they become dilate and uh, uh, the yes. blood uh, um, heat loses from the uh, uh, vessels in the uh, beneath the skin then cardiac output uh, is decreased and then cardiac output is decreased uh, because of this yes okay